Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Today's episode is going to be about wireless N 450 megabit per second routers, or more specifically, one wireless N 450 megabit per second router. So this is actually TrendNet's second generation 450 megabit per second router. This is the TEW692GR. So this is an evolution of the 691GR, which we also have on hand today for testing. And what does the 692GR bring to the table? Well, the answer is very simple. It brings three antennas, which the 691GR already had. It brings wireless N450 megabit per second, which the 691GR already had. But it brings concurrent dual band performance to the 450 megabit per second router line of TrendNet, which the 691GR did not have. It did not have concurrent dual band, which means the 692GR should, in theory, perform significantly better than the 691GR. And we are going to show you what you're going to need to get that performance out of it, and then we're going to put it to the test. So let's talk about why you might want a 450 megabit per second dual band network, because I can tell you right now, uh, devices like an iPhone 4 or a tablet PC, for example, are not going to benefit from 450 concurrent dual band because right now the onboard wireless on those devices is only going to be regular wireless N and not 450 megabit per second and certainly not concurrent dual band. However, if you have a compatible device such as the TEW684UB right here, which is a USB wireless N concurrent dual band adapter, then you can reap the benefit of that increased speed and then have regular wireless N coverage over the rest of the devices in your home. So in summary, what you need is a concurrent dual band 450 megabit per second router, a client that is also concurrent N 450 megabit per second dual band, and you yeah, that's pretty much all you need. You're going to need like an internet connection and stuff as well to go with it. Now, guys, we're going to do a very sort of real world scenario test of these two technologies. We're going to take this same adapter, so the 684UB, and we are going to run it connected to the 691GR and the 692GR. And then we're going to do a 900 megabyte file transfer. That is two 450 meg files. And we're going to find out how long it takes us to transfer those files over a wireless network. Now, in order to test anything wireless, we kind of have to get out of the tech tips room because there's a lot of interference from some hotspots around here. So we're going to do that in a few minutes. But before we do that, I want to talk about some of the alternative solutions that there are to running a 450 megabit client PC and using wireless technology. So TrendNet's got a 500 megabit per second power line kit. If for whatever reason you can't use that 500 megabit power line kit, power line, remember guys, is more reliable and is does provide better performance, especially for things like gaming that require low latency. If for whatever reason you can't use that power line kit, then a 450 megabit per second network is probably a better option. However, I still would recommend running a wired network, then power line, then wireless, but if you're going to go wireless, I guess you might as well get Cadillac wireless. So let's take this outside and see what kind of performance we can get out of our concurrent 450 dual band router versus our regular 450 megabit per second wireless N router. So guys, here we are. We're outside with the TEW691GR. You can see our ghetto fabulous setup with wires running out the, uh, out the door of the tech tips room here. So we're going to do our file transfer test. And I'm really hoping that plane flying overhead isn't going to interfere with my microphone too much. So I'm just going to show you guys what we got on our screen here. So this is the 691GR. We've got 100% signal strength. So this is pretty much what I would consider to be an ideal scenario. And we are going to go ahead and copy this, these two files, which total about 900 gigs. We're going to try to anyway. Yeah, there we go. Copy. And we're going to copy these two files to the desktop. And this is our super scientific test to find out exactly how fast this combo is going to be. So I'm going to press start on my stopwatch here and this button at the same time. Oh, wait for it, wait for it. Here we go, here we go. OK. So our 900 megs, did I say 900 gigs before? Slick says yes, but I don't know if I necessarily buy that. My 900 megs of data is apparently going to be interfered with by one of my coworkers coming up behind me here. 
who's going to make a run for it. He's breaking into the tech tips room, breaking and entering. Here we go, we're at 35 seconds so far, so it's copying at about 6.5 megs per second. Play by play, still at 6.5 megs per second. Six point five megs per second seems like about what we're gonna get. Six point six nine. Six point seven two. Aha, we're seeing some more megs per second. Seven megs per second. So we're up to a minute thirteen so far on this shot, which is gonna make this very long, a very long video to watch. Slick's hand camming it here, and I can tell you guys now that camera ain't light, but he's doing a very good job holding it steady. Mind you, my job of holding the laptop steady is probably more difficult. 7.5, gaining momentum. We've copied about 800 megs so far. So it looks like it's going to take us somewhere in the neighborhood of two minutes to copy 916 megs. So we'll do the math later because we're both really cold. So with the 692GR, which is the concurrent 450 megabit per second router, first of all, the, okay, the first thing I actually noticed is look at this. When we have 100% signal strength, the rate is actually pinned at 450 megabit per second. So that seems pretty good to start with. Now we're gonna go ahead and copy our test file and see just how long it takes compared to the previous router that we tested. So right away, with no change in the configuration process that we're using, with no change in the distance to the router, here's our router, or ac router and access point, plus switch if you want to be like really, you know, fussy about it. And this is clearly going to absolutely demolish the, uh, the 691GR in terms of sheer throughput when transferring large files over a network. So this is two 450 megabyte files and I am once again running out of commentary here. Um, so why don't we actually do our wrap up and our conclusion. So you guys have seen the number, so it was about two minutes to transfer these files on the previous generation product. Now with the new generation product, TrendNet has improved it to the point where we can transfer it and it looks like it's gonna come in around a minute 20. So I think that pretty much speaks for itself in terms of the performance of our wireless and concurrent dual band 450 megabit router compared to the wireless and 450 megabit not concurrent dual band router. Thank you for checking out NCIX Tech Tips and don't forget to subscribe and it looks like we came in at 1 minute and 21 seconds. I think that pretty much wraps it up here.